Drops and rising unemployment have many in our community worried about a possible spike in crime. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears took those concerns to Metro's top brass to get details on what it takes to protect us during a pandemic. Boarded up businesses and a run on guns bring to mind images of looting and potentially dangerous confrontations. We asked police how they plan to protect the public and themselves during this pandemic. Wood covered windows and padlocked doors are the new now with all non-essential businesses being forced to close for the next few weeks. Obviously, there are areas that uh, have started to cause us concern, uh, you know, security around places where the larger crowds are going grocery stores, big box stores. Assistant Sheriff Chris Jones says Metro speaks almost daily with those corporations and has increased police presence at many of their locations around the valley. We have not seen civil unrest. So far, police say people are being decent. And we want that to continue. Um, but with respect to security for uh, businesses that are closed uh, or companies that are, that are closed and no one is there, uh, we've also stepped up our patrols, so you'll see more officers in the strip malls. Hoping to prevent break-ins and burglaries by people well aware nobody's inside. We haven't seen that increase yet. Uh, we did anticipate with all of these businesses being closed, a potential rise uh, in burglaries to those facilities. Uh, and like I say, we were ahead of that. We deployed uh, strategically. This downtown business only recently boarded up, but already there's graffiti here and on several other businesses down the street. For now, one might say that appears to be the most prevalent new crime. Otherwise, streets are largely empty with few cars and even fewer pedestrians. As for residential crime, Metro doesn't anticipate a rise, saying with more people home, criminals are less likely to break in. During crisis or during economic downturns, your average citizen does not turn to crime. That's not the way it happens. Instead, what we see is people who are already engaged in criminal activity uh, tend to increase their criminal activity uh, and they also tend to get creative. Thinking of new ways to victimize people, like going door to door and pretending to be from a utility company or devising online or telephone scams. Metro says the biggest uptick they anticipate will be domestic violence and child abuse. Uh, we made sure that every one of our captains had something in place to address what we potentially could see uh, coming. And while they're out protecting us, we asked how they'll protect themselves. That after the department announced dozens of potential virus exposures for their staff. We've loaded up all of our area commands and all our jail, uh, all of our critical areas with personal protective equipment uh, that we've been fortunately able to acquire from our private sector partners. I can't tell you how uh, how amazingly helpful the casino industry and uh, the resort industry has been. The main message police want to get out there is that desperate times do not have to call for desperate measures. There's no doubt we're living under extreme circumstances right now, but police are counting on the public to partner with them in practicing respect and responsibility. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.